Hi guys, welcome to this edition of Hugh Newitt TV with me, your host, Gregory Guillaume. On this episode, I'm going to tell you how to get the whole granny look without having to commit to a whole dye job. And we're just going to be using actually just one product. And the product is from Jerome Russell, something I've used in the past. And this is silver. This is a silver color. It's been a couple years since I did my last uh, temporary dye job, but here we go. So these come in 20 colors, by the way, and I went to my local beauty supply store um, and this costs about $4, but you can go on the website, uh, JeromeRussell.com, to check out the other colors. But we are doing silver today. So I'm going to be using this. I'm going to also be using a wide tooth comb, and then I'll be using just some makeup, some makeup wipes to keep my hands free and clear of any kind of a color as I work this in. I'm not going to be doing my entire head. I'm just going to go ahead and highlight uh, the area surrounding my face. And I'm so happy I don't have to commit to dyeing something because I like my dark color, but you know, I want to have a little bit of fun. So anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and separate a section out. This right here, because all I want to do is just the section surrounding my face right here. Hopefully it doesn't age me too much. We'll see what happens. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just spray. Just spray, spray, spray. And the reason why I'm using a wide tooth comb is because I want this to saturate uh, all those strands in between. Oh, this is super cool. Hopefully you guys think so too. Um, <laughs> you got to be careful though because I got color on my forehead here, so you got to wipe that off. Wipes are so necessary for this process. You can use a you know a damp paper cloth as well to get that off, but since I have these here, why not use them? This is really pretty, and so I'm going to go continue down the length of the hair down in front. Now, as you know, I already have some blonde highlights around the face, and I'm not going to drench this completely in color. Maybe I want a little bit of brown, a little bit of gray, a little bit of black, just for interest's sake. And you just apply it how you want, however you want. And that's it. I think I'll do this side as well. I don't know. What do you think? Let me continue down the front here, just to, for consistency's sake. Oops, a daisy. I got a little bit of color in my ear over here, but no big deal. There we go. Oh, that's kind of sexy. I don't know. What do you guys think? Then I'll do this side over here. Actually, no. I'm going to leave it just like so. And that's really all I want to do. I think I want to do a little bit of more color right here. The great thing about this uh, temporary color is you can just wash it off. And I'll wear this throughout the day. The day I have a few appointments, and uh, we'll see how I feel with it. But so far, so good. It goes on a little bit wet, so you have to wait until it dries before you actually handle it. Um, and it does. It can, if you play with it throughout the day with your hands and your hair, it's going to come off on your hands. But generally speaking, the, the color does stay. Uh, so I'm actually liking what's going on here. Jeez. So it's still a little damp. Waiting for it to dry a little bit there. Get rid of that on my forehead. I think that's kind of cool. All right, so thank you so much for joining me on this episode of You Knew It, I Did. Until next time. Oh, let me use my, my new tagline. You Knew It, uh, beauty tried by us and loved by you. Ciao. <laughs>